All right, cool. Um, so let's figure out what we're working on today. Uh, we have, so we're working on setting screen. <clears throat> and there are, on the appearance of screen, all right, cool. So that would be, Settings, settings review, okay. Hopefully it's visible enough. All right, so I only have a label here for now, which means that if I click this, it does nothing. Yeah, that's right, okay, so. Uh, this is a okay. How does this work? So just one case. Then on the root view, I can have the settings path as settings routes. When I initialize settings with settings path, okay. And settings root view, it wants a settings route here. All right, awesome. <clears throat> We have a navigation stack. Let's look at the deck. Where's the deck? Oh, this is in the wrong folder. So this should be in use. There you go. Let's sort this by name. Much better. Okay, so deck root view, how did I do this here? All right, so I have a view for settings and then this sets up the links. Right, okay, so let's do that. So, new file, settings view, and then this just comes there. And then I want to set up the links. So settings root view and then navigation destination. So for the links here. So for settings routes let's switch route and then there's only one which is dot appearance. appearance. I always type this wrong. Settings view. Okay. Let's say new file. All right, let's try it out. Oh. No, you're right. Hey, revealing. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I think you're the only one on stream right now, so you can, you can go ahead. It's fine. Uh, Go crazy. I guess I guess I owe, you owe me that much. Uh, all right, so oh, 
Printing a value of type string, but there's no Oh right, because I need to so the settings view. Oh yeah, so that's settings routes. Uh dot appearance. Yeah. Alright, that's awesome. Cool. Um how would I describe flashy? It's a it's a flashcards. It, it's a it's an app that helps you learn through um, something called space repetition. So you download a bunch of flashcards into it. Let me lower the music. I can barely hear myself. Um, you download a bunch of flashcards into it, and there is like a lot of decks out there that are that exist to that already like made. And then what you do is you actually go through. Oh bummer. Um, you review these things. So like, for example, um, what is this thing? You tap it and then you confirm whether you knew what it was. And then, you know, you tell it whether it was hard, medium, okay, or easy to remember it. And according to the difficulty, it'll, it'll bring that card again in your reviews after a certain period of time. So the idea is that the the more comfortable you are with a tidbit of knowledge, the longer it'll take between reviews for it to show up. Um, and that's kind of how space repetition learning works. Um, it's it's a proven method. It works really well. Um, and oh, hey, Michaela. Uh, the soup command doesn't work here. Uh, how do I make you a mod? Do, no, not block or report. Let's mod you. Mod misses too much. Boom. Now you're carrying a sword too. Um, okay, so again, settings, appearance. We need to set the screen up now. So in the appearance settings view, what are we going to do here? We wanted to do a couple of things. So the accent color. Let's start with dark mode first. Um, so in shared, we're going to have the, this, uh, I guess settings can be a model. Settings. App storage. Var, var what, or what? What does Mac OS call this? Let's go to system settings and look. Uh, appearance. I always get this wrong. And that is... Um, This what I need. Let's find out. No. color scheme that dark all right so maybe it's color scheme dark 
lights. Ah. Uh. What's the default? Oh yeah. Uh yeah, let's do that real quick. Let's get in that box change to chat. Sorry about that. Um join channel. Close. Okay. So let me mod netbox. Just make sure. Okay, netbot's a moderator. Um, is there a way to ping my bot at all? Let's see, it has a bunch of commands. Let's look at the default ones. Let's try game. Oh, there you go. Awesome, thanks for the help. So this sucks because it doesn't have the follow the system color scheme preference here. So no. Um I'm gonna do this. So you know. System as a default. Yep, sounds good. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, thanks for the lurk. And the uh, command looks good. It's perfect. Okay. All right, cool. What am I doing wrong here? Okay, so it wants a string. So like, uh, so this won't work because it needs something that, ah, huh. so let's find out what we need to do here. So storage. Uh, so it, it is string case iterate to bool and oh and hashable. Yeah, we also want appearance. And then I can just, I can cut this. This is fine without it. <clears throat> cool, all right, so appearance. Um, it's now the appearance screen. Appearance. 
points of view. Now we have a list. Yep, that's doing the right thing. We have a section title. Picker. Is it a picker that I want? Uh, I need to see how they do this here. I still don't have a great, yeah, set of that shared equal settings. Yep, okay. Type binding appearance. Hmm. Okay, how would this work? First of all, do I do published here? If I do published, that's not gonna mm, class, all right, that's fine. No, it doesn't like that.
people go crazy with some of these uh, customizations for app storage. I, I would honestly much rather set There's a different user defaults than you can. Um, what I'm really trying to do here is, is to not have this defined in the a few places, but I guess I might have to, right? Um, well, let's do that for now. We can clean this up later. I just want to get it working. So, just instead of this, we'll put this here. And then this one's appearance. Okay, so picker and um, UI. That's what I want. Okay, and now for each. Um, all cases. ID is ID. And text value in. Dots uh, uh, localized, and which is a thing I have to and then dot tag value appearance. Uh, Let's call it value here. Value, value. And so I have to define localized name. All right, that's fine. It's, it's having a bit of a... they use for this auto let's call it auto 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 and they have like dark auto it's light. okay auto and then in the appearance settings you so Still don't like it, do you? Does it need an ID? All right, I see. Okay, so we want equitable. And this is string key, and then we part that it wants and then you ID nope why does ID not work all right well, let's see if it uh, 
saves the thing. Wait. Let's kill this. Come back to it. All right, so that's working. Um, I don't like that appearance shows three times. Um, problem for another time. Okay, and then accent color. There was a download here. There's some accent colors, there you go. from hex. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so here's an extension. Um, new file. We're gonna call this color. Plus. X. All right. Swift UI. Okay, cool. So now. Thirty six oh five fifty one. Yeah, it likes that. That's awesome. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Falcon, I'm sorry about that. How's it going? Come to think of it, I don't have, I have a name for these fonts. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, color hex, that's 7C04F8. Color AD490F. BD eight six F six at the hex prefix. <clears throat> F 
Over accent colors here. No. No, it's not what I want. I don't think this is what I want either. No. What I want is more something along the lines of this thing. Hmm. So how does this work? Check my selection value could not be inferred. First of all, let's find out what app storage in Swift looks like. Oof. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to do an enum here. Which which I guess is fine. Um so enum. So let's name some of these colors. Uh, color names finder. Okay, this might work. So ripe plum, <laughs> uh, ripe plum, okay. 
already click purple. Vivid violet I like better. Purple daffodil. Oh, electric purple. Um, baby purple, dull lavender. It's hard to know. Um, let's go baby purple. Uh, so vivid orange. Supernova. Yellow tan. All right. And now we do our color. It says case system switch self case system uh, accent color. Case red plum. Now we start copying these over. Man, this is funny. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, okay. I forget this is not Ruby sometimes. It's vivid violet. This guy. So want the localized name. Cool. Okay, so we can get rid of this. And then that'll be in appearance settings. Accent color is dot system. I need a circle. Fill. How do I fill this with a color? Pretty new at Swift UI, so I'm going to be looking stuff up a lot. Oh, just fill. Fill value. The color. Oh, this might not work at all, but. Ah, 
Yes, of course. Um, so first of all, we need to see the different types of pickers that we can get because I want one that's Okay. Well, we're getting somewhere. So we want a H stack here. And that goes there. <clears throat> okay, a little bit better. And the frame. Width 22, height 22. What if I take this off? Will it work the way I want it to? No, of course not. Selection system is invalid and does not have an associated tag. This will give it undefined results. What do you mean it doesn't have an associated tag? It should. All cases, hash value, we get the color, localized name. And then the default is dot system for X and color. X and color, okay, K okay, systems is the first one. Get it. What well, seems to be the issue, officer? Why are you not picking it? Right, because this needs to go on the H stack. Ah, uh, there you go. Makes much more sense. Okay. Let's format this file. I'm not going to get this like that, but that's fine. Okay. And now the cool thing is I can come to, this is fun. I can come to the root view, right? Um, where root view. I really hate having to copy paste this, but uh, I can do that tint and the color is um, accent color or color. Okay. Just need to go to the resources here as well and delete this actual thing. 
because we don't want to set it here, we want it to inherit from the system. There you go. So if we change it to system. Ah. No. No, 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 no. Okay, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> That's funny. Oof. Um This is nice though. Cool that you can change it. You know what? Default should be ripe plum. No. Uh vivid violet. Yeah, default should be vivid violet instead of system. So let's do that. Uh ba -ba -bum. settings. Remove this. Remove this. Right, uh, vivid violet was the default, yes. And here's why I don't like uh, having to copy this over and over. Uh, so, uh, root view, root view, root view, where are you? There. Now I've made a product decision here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Awesome. Okay, the other thing is the appearance. There was something that we could use to do this. Let's see. Preferred color scheme. And then not preferred. And this is appearance dot color scheme. Okay, now we go to appearance and we can do case light, it's return light, case dark, return dark, case auto. Turn none, I think. I'm sorry. What? What? Preferred color scheme, it wants a, oh yes. Um, so I can return nil here, which means that I have to make this a, an optional return nil. Failed, that's fine. Um, not root view, root view, root view. There it is. Preferred color scheme, appearance, not color scheme. All right. So now if I come in here and switch it from light to dark to light, that'll change it. I, Swift UI is so cool. It is so good. That is so cool. Okay. 
Okay. Just like, all right. So we have the accent color is done. The mm, code font I won't do just yet because <clears throat> we don't have card types yet, but we have plain text font. So <sighs> we can uh, we can certainly implement a font chooser here. I have to translate all these things too. And these names are awesome. Vivid Violet, Electric Purple, Baby Purple, Vivid Orange, Supernova, Yellow Tan. That's cool. That's really exciting. Okay. So I have these things done here. Let's close all of it for now. What's this complaining about? Uh, LS supports opening documents in place. All right, let's do it real quick. It's this is show editor only. No, how do I change this into? First of all, let me look up this error. This This would be here. Might as well get rid of this one too. It's bothering me. I've seen this already. The application seen manifest. Okay. Huh. Interesting. It doesn't let me to add this because this is an iOS info list. There you go. Yeah, it was a capital S. Okay. There, no warnings, perfect, clean. Okay, so we're gonna choose the color for the cards. Um, the font, not the color. So iOS fonts, let's look at some fonts, shall we?
Sif Pro. Okay. All right, so we have five different fonts here that we can choose from. It's okay. Um, Stop body then. Custom. Seven here. Dashbook that I want, I think. Even Ariel is Ariel MT.
then localize name here. settings here all right so now that's the section parent section fonts picker card fonts Name and dot fonts and the font. Yep. Tag. This should be a picker style in line as well, so that it actually shows the fonts. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty neat. Okay. Well, that works. Sweet. Um, now the other thing I can do is so the card tile view, right? Um, you can have the thing here, and then the dot font is card font dot font. Which means that when I come here, uh huh, I change. Oh my god, this is so cool! This is really neat. This is really neat. Okay. Obviously I'll have to make it pretty and stuff, but like for now it works. All right, so let's look at this. The appearance settings are done. Let's look at the... Well, Mark, this is done. Anki, oh boy. All right, so Anki sounds. This will be a fun one. Let me just look at this real quick. Commit. Okay, oh, Anki import. Bummer, I did. Uh... Let's not be too exhaustive here. The indoors is nice. Is it cold out there? Okay, and also the on the review screen it needs to pull in. 
Oof, yeah, this, this one's a doozy. This is all going, going to go through a bit of a refactor anyway. I wanted to. Right now, I want to make it work. Uh, and the property here. And text. And then it's going to be that font. Card font. That font. On review, no cards, let's pick this. Avenir, have to go to system. I'll change. Sweet. Yeah, neat. Okay. Let's see if this supports bold though, because some of these gross anatomy stuff things are they have I'm not finding anything right now. Lateral. Let's look at lateral here. And make something here. That's the other thing I wanted to do today as well. The performance of this view is not great. And I know it's my fault. I'm clicking this thing right now and it's not doing anything. It's just to prefer, I think it has to do with the way I'm running the corners. Apparently this is super heavy to do the way I'm doing it here. Um, there. All right, so it is. Where is what if I do double here? I should do bold. Yeah, no, that that works. The bold and the italic stuff works. Okay, that's nice. Um. Yeah, let's do before before we get into the sounds. I'm gonna put that back into there, and I'm gonna create a um, card list screen performance screen is extremely pressing hard to edit. Doesn't. Instance feedback sometimes. Uh, estimate. That's four points because I have no idea what's going on. This is a bug. <clears throat> and it's high priority. Card list performance. All right. So let's see what is going on. So product uh, profile. We're building. Okay, let's see. I think I want activity monitor. We'll start here and 
Let's see where we go. All right. Why are you not? Two or more errors are, what? Activity monitoring service not available on this device. I wonder if I have to use my phone for this. <clears throat> All right, let's try with my phone. That's fine. Okay, so we'll just, yeah, all right, that's fine. So I'll stop here and run it on my phone uh, profile. Activity monitor. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start recording. So before that, I'm going to add the thing and remove this. Okay, start recording and. Oh, all right. Awesome. So that. Zip, 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 zip. Oh. And tap. Wait. That's doing nothing. Well, I mean, there, that's when the screen popped up, but okay. So it doesn't care Now Fleshy is doing very little CPU, like go back here, went for So this was, yeah. Thirty, twenty five, point four, point four. Yeah, it's weird. While I was like, while I was waiting for it to. So this might not be what I need to to see. So let's try. Profile again, look at memory. So let's look at allocations. Uh, oh, well, maybe animation. Which is as well. CPU counters. Okay, so let's try allocations. Let's see how that goes. Okay, record. Go here. Scroll, 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 scroll. Tap. No. So we're not looking at allocations. That's not what we need. <clears throat> Don't save. Uh, profile. So what is it that I want then? It's not allocations. It wouldn't be animation hitches, would it? Well, let's find out. 
Ouais. Euh... Okay. Tap. Waiting. 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 There. Boom. Inhibiting data acquisition. That sounds intense. Okay, transferring data. These are not an issue. I wonder if this is the problem. What the heck happened here? Expensive commit, expensive commit, commit to render latency. Okay, so it looks like we're onto something. Um, we have a bunch of moderate to highs in rendering, which means that we can probably optimize this list view. Okay, so this is the card tile view right here. And the problem I've read has to do with corner radius. So I know there was something uh, Swift UI corner radius performance. Applying around the corners. Okay, it was the background. Right, all right. So let's do First of all, see if it actually looks the same. Huh. Really? It won't even go in anymore. What? What? It 
Tap. Why is that not working? It should work. Let's stop it and start again. <clears throat> okay, so this one's empty. It's fine. It doesn't care. And then I tap this one, and it's just like... Nope. That uh, crashes. What? Are you kidding me? How is that even possible? What are you doing? Oh boy, this is... All right, let's try to get rid of this altogether. Let's just... And then fill with color. Uh, highlight, um, accent. Wait. That's background. All right. Let's take away the corner radius and see if it's that actually. <clears throat> No. That is not what's doing it. Oh, well, that's relief. Um Well, no. It's not a relief because then what is doing it? So the deck view Two columns for each card, card, tile view. Is because all of these guys have sheets? Let's try to put this here. I could probably not doesn't like that, all those sheets. There it is. It was the sheet. Um, where's my corner radius? Why is that not showing up? Ah, because background fills it. Corner radius modifies it. All right, boom. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. That's better. All right, so that was easier to fix than I thought. Um, review, root view, review, root view. Edit, editor, format selection.
So that was that was nice and easy to fix, actually. Uh, done. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's do Anki sounds. Close all of this stuff. Let me hide this view here. Hopefully the font is big enough for people to read. If not, let me know. I'm happy to happy to tweak that. I wonder if this is going to fail, actually, because this is also a dumb thing. Yeah, we are going to fail because... Gonna be running some tests here. Just the automated tests are not fast at all. I'd love them to be instant, especially because this is a bit of a This is not even a UI thing. I don't quite understand what it's even, what's it even doing? Oh, crash. Uh, decoding key not found. Okay. All right, so, all right. This needs a JSON decoder, so if it's optional. Okay, yeah, so that's what it wants. Um. There's a fields if let's
must have optional type. Okay, so let's try the tests again. That's this guy that was failing. Sir. Okay, well, that's stupid. Right by choosing decode for key over decode of is that a thing? Decode of present. Ah. Okay. I did not know that was um I guess we don't need that here. Let's try running the tests again. Replace. Succeeded, there you go. All right, perfect. This guy. Boom, there it is. All right, awesome. So, so one of the things I might have to change here is the fact that a card like I have front attachment back attachment I might have to switch this model a little bit so Can I draw here? Oh. No. No, okay, this sucks. Um so right now the card I assume it has a front and a back. And that sh that that'll that'll work for most cases. But what I need to do, I have a moment to draw. Yeah, I do. All right. So this is my current thing, right? So we have a deck. Um, how do I change the text? Yep. So we have deck here.
zoom in. So we have a deck and the deck has multiple cards, which have fronts and back properties. So that kind of works like this. All right, one to many. And what we might have to do here is, let's copy this over again. I have to have a deck which has a card, which will then have sides. And this, instead of front and back, this would be the order or position. And then a side would have attachments, which would have a type and the uh, body. This will require a whole rewrite of this thing though. So it's one to many, one to many, one to many, and before and after. I am kind of wondering if this is something I want to do now. I would have to do this before the beta anyway, but right now this is a lot because even there are so for example, if I'm here and I create a card, like it, it assumes the front and back sides here. So it's gonna be a very Hey Sin, how you doing? Um I nice see you. So it's going to be a very, very dynamic kind of view. It's a whole like, it's going to be a whole kettle of fish. Now I'd probably want to be able to reorder this stuff as well here, which I have no idea how I would do. Um, I'm not too bad, thank you. I'm, uh, Decided to, to kind of hop on Twitch for a little bit and work on work on a flashcards app that I'm building. All right, the other bug is I need to get a get a new issue here. So uh, card edit screen. Confirms discarding changes without modifications. It's uh, me. This is a two pointer. It's a bug. I want to do. Yeah, so I have to track this so I don't forget. Do something really nice here, real quick. So, delete card. Uh, on this. Why is it? Why is it? Press it. Yeah. Details view. Press the delete button. I wonder if this is going to be the same red or if we can make it a nicer one. Oh, oof. Uh, no. No, it's just the background of the text, not the actual. That's, that's fine as it is. Um, I feel. I'm sorry. 
button text has no member fill. What? Sir. Tint, of course. Tint. This will probably clash with the text. Nope, it doesn't care. All right, never mind. Um, right, so. Question is, do I do this now or do I do this later? Because this is gonna be a whole thing. I think I'll do this later. I'll work on detecting sounds for now. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll work on detecting sounds for now and importing those. And I'll have another property in the card, which will have the have a attachment type so uh, pack attachment type is going to be a string and the front attachment type is also going to be a string okay save these properties into Anki importer we go and when it creates the records does it do these here yeah so card dot front attachment type is image. Card dot back attachment type is image. All right, we're good. Um, the other thing we can do is we can try up these tests a little bit as well. So we can do private trunk import. Returns a deck. Now this returns a an array of decks. Return. Just throws as well. So what I can do here is let x is import and close anatomy. And we'll try this up a little bit. Yeah, try. Alright, so this yeah, this looks much better. Sure, I can run these tests real quick. <laughs> it's doing anything. What are we looking at? Looks like it got stuck. Run the test. Give me something here. Seems to be running. Okay. 
All right, cool. So um, what we can do is let <coughs> deck is dex last. Yep. <coughs> um, let card is deck the cards uh, first. It's never gonna rip it. Mm. Okay, so XCT asserts equal image card front attachment type. Okay, let's try this again. I'm so confused because there's a failure there, but it says fine. No, okay, that's okay. Um, maybe? Doesn't it know that cards is uh This looks a little bit weird to me. So this is in this set. Is there a... Well, the key is not a string, the key is... Really, any object will do, but this just does not look tidy. Well, it seems to like it. I don't know, it looks like it passed somehow. Like, seriously? That doesn't make any sense. Unexpectedly found nil unwrapping. Ah, there it is. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's dive into this then. Now we're talking. Okay. So what does dex look like? Two values.
That is not useful. Title is default, okay. And one. Title is gross anatomy. Okay, so instead of that last, I'll do one. Let's find out if it likes it better. Some guts. Mm. Okay. Okay. Sega board could not. Cast flashy dot card to flashy test dot card. No. I think I might have set up the tests wrong actually. So if I come here. Take this out. I go back to the test and I run it. No, it doesn't know what a card in the deck. So they're the same type. I wonder. I might just be doing the cast wrong. Let's look at this a little bit closer. So put that in there. And now my card is deck dot cards dot all objects. That is bizarre. Um, test with core data. Are you serious?
and he is not convertible to card. And I guess this is this just seems bizarre. I this is where I wish I had an adult crash. There. Oh, that's useful. That's not. Okay, so I see. So I was uh, was kind of right, but that means that it's just gonna fail because it doesn't know what deck is. And this doesn't work. This doesn't need to be here either, I guess. Okay. It's not talking about membership at all.
This doesn't matter. Uh -oh. What? What? <clears throat> Global, yeah. Global namespace, that seems right. It's so confusing. Thanks, I really want to do this right, but it's it it's not helping at all. I just have to do these shallow tests, which is whatever. Okay, so image, let's try four sounds and port sound success. And then on fixtures, we will have the Portuguese. Uh, rename. All right, so we succeed now. The Enki importer. Let's look at when it imports a text node. Okay. Wait, no, that is, you're going to run this test. What test are you running? Import text success, import image, import sound success. Let me restart Xcode. I might be a little bit confused right now. Okay. Testing, go on. Obviously not doing anything. This is so bizarre. How do people even use this? Well, let's do this the old-fashioned way. Um, so I'm going to do files, drag this in. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to break.
there. So. Okay. Okay. So the Yankee Fields. We'll have a face. Huh. So this will be a new field. Um, let's find out the patterns. It's going. Um, we are about to parse sounds and play them. That's neat. Um, so we want So now if that sound is and text the first match of sound regex and then else. So an Enki field will have a sound too, which is uh, 
Do we open the image there? Yes, we do. Okay, so sound can also be a data thing. Cool. Um, hey, Lysidin, how's it going? All right, so if all that sound is going to be result dot one. Okay, and I'm doing this. So that source ID is media mapping at first. Yeah. One is sign dot one. The key. Then face dot sound is try get a Contents of pending path source ID. Failed. Okay. Oh, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> hey, Bullwinkle. <laughs> yeah, um, Michael's already threatened the shield mode thing. Is the keyboard too obnoxious? You don't like it? I like it a lot. It's supposed to be pretty loud. All right, so let's break here. Let's see if it, oh yeah, it hits it, okay. Um, and then sound. There's a substring. Okay. Keep going. Oh, that's not, oh no, okay. Oh, come on. Okay, so source ID 721, boop. All right, so it's giving me the sounds, that's great. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing to type on and, and it's kind of the, the point. Like I, I used to have um I used to have a bunch of people come in just hang out because of the keyboard. Apparently it will help them sleep. That's why I don't even have music on. Um you should get to pick your own music. Alright, so the sound sound works. Now the only thing is when I'm importing a when I'm importing the fields. Inky card. We'll have a front and a back. So when we import, how does this work? I'm trying to figure out the field parser and why that.
All right, so what I need to do is a bit of a, uh, so I'm gonna have parsed fields and I need to select card is Hmm. So it's gonna have some. <clears throat> it's gonna have to have a weird, a bit of a weird logic. Um, so. All right, because it wants a field. So what I need to do is I need to merge the fields. need to do is I need to merge the fields. So for Text is not empty. We do previous fields is this. And then let merged fields is a way of empty field of our. Does it have the reverse of is empty? The 
field image is not nil, then actually no, not no image. Field sound is not nil. And the previous fields sound is field dot sound. So if keycard.image is not null, Having to do these things is actually showing me that I do have to change this structure altogether, which is fine. Because this is not, this is really ugly. So we should be hitting this with this um, Portuguese deck imports. And this is not working.
Okay. If this. Aha, look at that. Yep, and it's merging the cards properly, which is nice. Cool. Okay. Um. All right, let's take that out and let it run. See if it crashes anywhere. No, it, it likes it. All right, so what I have to do now is delete all of these guys and actually import this cleanly. The other thing I need to have here is an Anki import, Anki sounds, and import progress. Um, all right, so this will be fun. <clears throat> A few roots view. Uh, and then here, uh, if let sound is card dot. So if yeah, this is definitely
it with data and everything. And so this is from AVF Audio. probably a good idea anyway. Return AV auto player data data. Okay. Blue. Try. You can you can clearly tell that I'm I'm amazing, this right? Like uh, review review. Okay. Uh, if my audio player is part of the AV for side, we also want a no. Get get out of here. Okay, and then we want another button.
assume there's a stop dot fill. Yes. Oh, that works. Wait, I shouldn't need this here because I can put this here. What? You want both? I don't get it. That's working nicely. Cool, that's working. I'm 
sorry, you probably can't hear it, but you're gonna have to take my word for it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Pretty sweet. Uh, so sound imports are done. And I think we've been at this for almost three hours. I think we're good here. Uh, it's a good time to stop. This is, I'm gonna have to refactor this whole thing. Um, but it's looking nice. Looks really nice and loaded up on my phone. Okay, delete the Portuguese Facebook from here. Cool. All right. Yep. I think uh, I think I'm stopping here. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, let's find out if we can uh, go raid someone. Um, let's mute. So we'll go to the stream team here. Oh, I'm the only one streaming. Bummer. Um, Revealing who should I go who should I go uh raid? Help me out here. Oh, it's overlay. So this is overlay, it's what I want. Um, instead of this. It's four. And the stroke is Professor Panda. All right. Well, it looks nicer. Um, Let me just do this tweak here. Okay. Cool. So let's All right. So let's go Raid Professor Panda. Let's 
This looks like a great human being. So thanks everyone for hanging out. You all look wonderful today. And you smell even better. Let's uh, give Professor Wen Panda our love. Bye.